I have tried to work with climate issues in my art on various ways. I have worked with how do you actually touch the climate crisis? How does it feel physically if you could touch it? We know that the climate crisis can be very abstract because generally it's a lot of scientists who gives us a lot of data, which is very important. And then we have the media communicating this data as kind of text or pictures or films and so on to us. And sometimes I wonder, does the media in fact touch us? I've also worked with, for instance, putting ice from Greenland in the middle of the street in Paris in a public space during the COP21. This specific project, Ice Watch, was a project where I put 12 blocks of ice in a circle in collaboration with a scientist, Minik Rosen. We took the ice from a Greenland glacier, it had fallen off into the ocean, where we picked it up and shipped it to Paris. See, now that's a project where, which very specifically was about, well, how do we make what the scientists and the heads of states tell us available for people so they can understand it in a second. And I'm very curious about the fact that we kind of know what the climate crisis is about, we sort of understand it intellectually, but it can still be very abstract when it comes to having a physical relationship with it. What's the consequences of our action can be a very difficult question to answer. So being exposed to inland ice from Greenland is, I think, a, a quite an interesting uh, situation because it puts us in front of something which is quite literally disappearing very fast, the glaciers. We measured, we measured the uh, carbon footprint and it was 30 tons. 30 tons was released into the atmosphere because of taking the ice to Paris. I evaluated and I thought that is actually worth it because 30 tons is the equivalent of taking a school flag of kids to Greenland uh, and back again to Paris. So I thought, well, a few hundred thousand people will actually see the ice in, in uh, Paris. And of course, they will see the ice out of the context of Greenland. But in Paris, it was amazing because the ice suddenly became very touching, very emotional, full of sounds, full of magic. And in that way, I thought the ice would really allow for a strong physical and emotional conveyor of the climate debate. And of course, what is very touching is to put your hand on the glacier. And what happens is that you go like, oh, this ice is very cold. This means that we have knowledge in our head, but physically speaking, we have not quite become as sensitive as we have been intellectually. And the question is, where does climate action come from? Does it come from intellectual knowledge or does it come from physical experience? So with art or artworks, I think one can touch, you know, one can touch people or touch the motivation in a different way than what the media does to us. So what gives me hope is that all the people in the world who has actually created the successes, the progress, the sort of industrialization that essentially led to the climate crisis, these are going to be the same people who are going to invent, create and um, come up with solutions that can actually save the planet. So I'm full of hope that the brilliant mind of man, mankind is actually capable of solving this climate crisis.